Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the demonstration of our ASP project that is an e-commerce project. So I will run the project now. So here we have our index page and firstly we have a slider. So I have put the same images for all the three slides. So you can see here it is navigating to the second and third one and there is a smooth transition over here so it is not just moving like the normal sliders so coming to the next part that is the trending section so here whatever products you have set to trending that thing will be visible over here so you can control this from your admin dashboard we will be seeing that after some time so after this you have the footer so here i've just put some maps and here you have quick links so our collections so it is same as here this collections and the other things you have my cart my wishlist login register so if you go to your cart it will ask you to login first so let us see this collections first so all your categories you can add it from your dashboard and it will be visible over here you can control this thing if you want to hide some category for a week so you can just put the status to hidden and visible so you can control this from your admin dashboard so let us just open a category and you can see we have three products under this category so you can just open one and you have the description original price and the selling price so this is your discounted price and this is the mrp so you have the quantity over here add to cart wish list and here you have stock validation so let me just increase this quantity and add to cart so it's going to say login to continue so if the product is out of stock so this product is out of stock no this is in stock so this product is out of stock so you will not be able to add to cart so you can increase this but you are not able to add to cart but you will still be able to add it to your wish list so once the stock is available then you can just view the product and purchase it from there also if you have set the product to trending you can see here you have a label over here trending label so all the products which are there in this trending section right that will have it over here trending so if the product is not in trending there will be nothing over there you can just check over here can see this product is not in the trending so trending is not enabled for this product from the admin dashboard so now let us just register over here and here I will select my gender and phone and my email ID just put a small email ID over here and my password and confirm password let me click register registered successfully so now I'll just log in with the credentials which I just registered say submit see logged in successfully and we are back to the home page so now let me just open this product and select two quantity and say add to cart you can see product added successfully so if I add it once again it will say product already in cart so it is not going to add it more than once so if you want to increase the quantity you can just directly go to your cart page and here you have you can just increment that let's go back and here you can add to your wish list as well and again if you add it again so the same concept product already in wish list so you can see here I'll just remove this product and go back yeah I'll go to collections and go to the watches and here you can see wish list is 0 and cart count is 1 so as soon as I add it to my cart you can see this count becomes 2 and even the wish list the same thing as soon as I added this product you can see it has become 1 without the page reload so now let us go to my cart page and say checkout so here you can see basic details are required over here to fill and place your order so I'll just fill in my details and email and the address I'll just say some number church street address 2 main road city state and the country and the pin code 
so here you have your cart products and your grand total is visible over here so 36.999 into 2 plus 1699 so it is calculated over here so now you have here three payment options so if you plus place order cash on delivery so the order will be placed and if you pay with razor pay so you will have multiple options over here so i have statically given one rupee over here so we'll just test the live payment now so i will just use the upi option ibl and i'm going to say pay and i have got a request on my phone so i'll just approve that and i have paid the amount so now my order will be placed so you can see over here congratulations your order has been placed you have got a message over here so and i say okay it will take you to the my order section so let me click on view details so you can see the shipping address whatever i had filled over there that thing has come over here and your payment method so i have paid by razor p tracking number total price and the all the details whatever you had filled over there is visible over here and your order details so whatever uh, items you have ordered so that thing and your quantity everything is visible over here so this order status once you have completed the order you can update this to completed from your admin dashboard let us go back and you have it over here my orders here we have our my profile section so we'll go to my profile and here you have your details so i'll just update it so we'll just click on update you can see your profile has been updated successfully and it has been refreshed so you can refresh and check and this thing is over here just remove that and update it back yes and in your wish list you can the view the product and you can add to cart if you are willing to purchase it and here you have an option of remove so you can remove the product so here your shopping cart is empty so you when you click checkout you're going to be redirected to the categories page with a message your shopping cart is empty so let me just log out and log in as the admin here just say admin at gmail.com and we'll put the password say submit so you can see the admin has logged in with the message over here logged in successfully and if the user is being given the role of admin he will automatically be redirected to the admin dashboard when he is logging in so the login page is same for the user and admin so here you have your all the categories so you can add category from here so i have just added few categories over here and you can edit and delete these categories as well so you see the status i'll just update it to one and say update so zero is the default status so if you have updated it to one so that will be hidden so let me just open that and show it to you and here you can see in your collections the mobiles category is missing over here so that is because we have updated that status to one so it will not be visible so the same concept with the product so if you have updated the status to one so it just means that is just hidden and in the user side if you just try to change this url you can see requested category not found so same thing with the product if there is any mistake in the url you will be redirected to the categories page so all category is done let me go to the add category you can just add category over here so all products you can see you have all your products over here you can just edit and delete so just edit and the same thing guys over here you have this trending section right so if i just make it to zero and we'll just update this so this is samsung galaxy s2 fe let me go to the trending section you can see this product so as soon as i update that and refresh that product is not visible in the trending section and even if you go from this way you have this one so you can see that trending tag is not 
visible over here because we have removed that from the trending section so here you can just sort it and here add products you can select your category and start adding the details so let me just add one product laptops i'm going to say new laptop let me just keep hp product name hp laptop product description just fill something 8 gb ram and 256 ssd copy and paste the same thing enter quantity so this is for the stock so i have 15 quantity and selling price you can just give the price so you just put 56 999 original price put 65 999 and upload the image i have it over here hp laptop i think i've already used this image let me use the other one and save product so we've got a pop-up over here it says product already exists i think we already have the same name product let us just check it in the collections laptops okay so i have already added this hp laptop so we'll just change it so we're adding the other laptop this dell laptop open so we'll just change that dell laptop and say dell laptop paste and this is just the description right so there's no issue if you have if you are just leaving it like that while adding and now when i say save product you can see product added successfully and it will be added over here dell laptop and that thing you can just refresh and check over here in the laptops category there is another laptop added over here with your description and the price and stock validation so this stock thing once you place your order right so how much quantity a user is placing order that much will be deducted from this total available stock yeah this thing so as the user keeps ordering right so this will get decreased and once it reaches zero it will show out of stock in the product view page so here all products is done add products we just added a product so new orders you can see here so whatever new orders you have got which status is pending so you can just view details and see so this is the shipping details and this is the order details so the quantity and the name and the price so payment mode and order status is pending so once this order is completed you can just edit that and from pending you can just make it to completed and update the order so that thing will move out of your pending orders to your completed orders so here you can see this this is the order which we placed right so order status completed so let me just view details and here you can see so this order has been completed so i've just made few changes so we have just uh, put this name whatever the admin has logged in right so the admin's name will be visible over here as well as over here so it was static before this so the logged in admin's name is stored in a session and it is displayed over here so next we have the registered users so here you can view all your registered users so this is the admin which is currently logged in so you can see role as one so the role as one is for the admin and the role zero is default when a user registers so you can just edit and update this record so if you want to make a user an admin you can just update his status to the role as to one just say update so now this user also can log in as an admin so let me just show you just log out logged out let me log in and with my other id and password just say submit so you can see logged in successfully and now you can see this name is visible over here and here also so you can just edit and update the records of the users that's it from the admin side so let me just log out and you can see near checkout page let me just log in once gmail.com login and just make this user as default user edit and update so now you see uh, the role has has become zero 
So let me just log out and and before login if you just try to access that URL it is going to say login to continue and if you have logged in so for now this ID is a user's ID not an admin so when I log in I will be redirected to my home page and now if I try to access the URL of the admin it is going to say access denied so in your checkout page we have multiple payment options we had already seen this razor pay thing so here you also have paypal so you, you can see all fields are mandatory so validation is done so first you have to fill all these details let me just fill out here see enter a valid number so it has to be 10 digits number okay address one just fill something address say my address city state country and pin code so now when you click paypal so you can see all the terror messages is gone and here you will be able to log in with your sandbox id and process the payment and you just have to change your client id to your live client id to accept live payments and here we have the third option is cod so let me just place a cod option so you can see order placed successfully so the order which you placed previously i just cleared that table so here it's showing as the first order so view details you can see this is the order which we just placed let me just go back and place another order to my card check out and fill some details okay mobile number so here if you try to enter any integers so it's not taking you can see the alphabets and space is accepted in this so i'm trying to press numbers and special symbols it's not accepting that input so for the email id you can put everything and in address you can type anything so now let me just say place order so you can see this is my second order which i just placed now view details and here it is so payment mode cod so that's it in this project guys the link to purchase this project is given in the description thank you for watching